So I spoke before in a blog post about the importance of stretching your hamstrings from all directions. And today we're going to look at another exercise where um, you, you have a variety of options, a variety of angles that you can stretch your hamstrings in. Um, and I will also show you a hip flexor stretch in which you can vary the angle of the stretch so that you get the most out of it. Um, and just a quick recap, we have muscles all around our legs or joints in general everywhere, right? There is muscles in the front and the back and on both sides. So if we only stretch on one angle, we're um, actually limiting our, our potential for increased mobility. If you come into a kneeling position, and you might have seen the stretch and done this before, and just extend one leg out in front of you, okay? Um, and then if you pull both of your sit bones back to the wall behind you, then you should feel a good stretch down the back of the leg. Um, you might feel it in the hamstrings, backs of the thighs, or in the calves, or in both places, right? Maybe right behind the knee. Um, so usually, we tell you to pull the toes back, have the toes point straight up to the ceiling. So that's more like um, a vertical line, right? And that's totally fine. This is also a nice challenge for your balance. So if you need to hold on to chair, that's totally fine. Ultimately, try to not have to hold on because you practice balance at the same time. You can start to turn that leg a little bit outward. And I kind of did a lot right there. So maybe let's just with the start just with a few degrees out. And I feel a stretch going more to the outside of my calf, right? It could go even further and even further, and then it gets even more, even more intense for me and it comes further up the thigh, right? So these are the different angles that you can choose. You can even try and turn inward and see if you feel a little stretch there. I have to go quite far. It's tricky. It's difficult for me to go inward. Um, so, but you'll, you'll see. And obviously the area where you feel most of the stretch, that's where you're tightest. So it would be a very good idea to spend more time stretching in that direction. Okay? Um, and then another example is a hip flexor stretch. And you've also done that probably plenty of times where you step one leg forward from a kneeling position um, and you push your hip forward and you should feel the stretch down the, uh, the thigh, the front of the thigh of the back leg. And I see a lot that the back leg sort of angles in. This is, makes it easier for you to balance on because now I have a wider base of support. If that back leg would point straight back, it's actually a little bit trickier to balance, right? So just um, look back if you can, or ask somebody to look at you and tell you where that leg is pointing towards or maybe in front of a mirror. So you see where that leg is. And now you can change the angle of that back leg, you can intentionally turn it, uh, but you can even try and go a little bit the other way while you push your hip forward. And depending on where you direct the back leg, that will also change where you feel it in the front of this thigh. Okay. So now I feel more inward towards the ground, and now I feel it more, maybe slightly towards the outside. And the same thing depending on the angle that you stretch that you move that leg it will change the area of the thigh so hip flexors there are many of them that run across the front here and if you only stretch one angle you will only make one tiny little aspect of the muscle flexible but it will it might still limit your movement so it might still be difficult for you like i am right now in a kneeling position still harder for you to come out of this arch back position to actually send your hips forward, right? Because you're, you haven't stretched all of it. Good? Um, obviously, do the other leg as well. Maybe just restart the video and do it with your other side and compare. Very often, one side is more open in one direction. We, we're not completely symmetrical. We're not completely balanced. Um, so pay attention to those tiny little um, differences between the sides just so that you get to know your body better right if you know your body then you can help yourself more and you're more empowered thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if you'd like to see more cool information 
head over to PlatesEncyclopedia.com. I'll see you next time.